Next, we have the modern system versus legacy system. So these are alternative data processing approaches. Modern system characteristics include client server base and process transactions in real time. Use relational database tables, have high degree of process integration and data sharing. And some are mainframe based and use batch processing. Some firms employ legacy system for certain aspects of their data processing. So still accountants need to understand the legacy system. So legacy systems characteristics include mainframe based applications, batch oriented, and then its early legacy systems use flat files for data storage, and then also others use hierarchical and network databases, and then the data storage systems promote a single user environment that discourages information integration. So this is an example of a record structure for sales inventory and accounts receivable files. So kani is unsa ang magi sa recording ba? So, di ba naka, imam mga data, mo yung mga data available ni mo, your sales order, account number, inventory, quantity sold, unit sold, and invoice price. So, PK here stands for your primary key. So, ang primary key is, dili na siya ma ilis na part sa imuhang, um, or it is unique to that file. Mo na imuhang primary key. So, in this case, di ba, naka yung sales order, your primary key is the sales order number. So, kana unique na siya for that, for that specific type of file or for the sales order file. Now, ang mga other av datas available niya is gamitun po for the other files either as primary or as secondary keys. So, for instance, Ang account number ni mo, secondary key ra ni mo siya sa imuhang sales order. However, it becomes a primary key when you are already recording for the AR na master file. So, si kada customer ni mo is lahi-lahi siya og account number. Diba? So, iyan ang primary key, ang iyang account number. O, timailhan na na ni mo nga. Basta yung ganitag primary key, as I said, unique siya or special siya para ana nga certain file. Oh, then, aside from that, kailangan po ni mong invoice, mo ay mo reflect sa imuhang, or mo ay ma-add sa imuhang current balance, ana. and then your inventory number, o kung pila to ang gi-order, is mo ay mahimong primary key sa imuhang inventory master file. Then, your quantity sold is also used as another, as a an, uh, secondary key for your um, inventory master file. So, ano na siya? So, one data from one or from one department or another department, kay mahimo po siyang source of data from another department or another process. Next, we have what we call backup procedures. So, destructive updates leave no backup. So, to preserve adequate records, backup procedures must be implemented as shown below. So, the master file being updated is copied as a backup. A recovery program uses the backup to create a pre-update version of the master file. Or mura kung ka kung mag-work kag Excel or any MS application, di ba na yung mura auto-save na program, inana siya. So, every 10 minutes is mag-auto-save ang imuhang, um, mag-auto-save ang imuhang work. So, di ba, gi-backup siya ni Microsoft, samtang wala pa dito ka nag-fully save sa imuhang work. So, kana siya, gi-backup na niya nga. If ever maputol man gani ka or mahunong kag stop or there are errors nga you encounter, dili ka nga mobalik ka sa sugod. So ang iyang recovery is ato na sa katong imuhang pre nga katong pre-saved or ang um, pre-version sa imuhang ang um, gibuhat nga trabaho. So ina na 